Good day, viewers. Thank you for joining us. Here we want to solve the system of equation. Find the value of x and y. We have 6 raised to the power x plus 6 raised to the power y equals to 42. And x plus y is equals to 3. So let's say from equation 1. Let's divide this one as equation 1. And this as equation 2. So from equation 1 there. Let's rewrite it and uh, we multiply both sides by 6 raised to the power x. So we have 6 raised to the power x. We now multiply the left hand side that this is raised to the power x plus 6 raised to the power y. And also 6 raised to the power x, we multiply the right hand side which will become 42 multiplied by 6 raised to the power x. And from here, when we use this 6 raised to power x to open this bracket, what we have is 6 raised to power x multiplied by 6 raised to power x, then plus 6 raised to power x multiplied by 6 raised to power y, which is still be the same thing as 42 multiplied by 6 raised to power x. And from here, we can apply the law of indices. When we multiply with the same base, we can have the power. So here I can see this one same thing as 6 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 2. Because this will be 2x. And when I have when I have a raised to the power ma, like we can take one of them out and say this will become a raised to the power m, then raised to the power n. So same thing is applicable here. So from here, we are taking two outside here. We have 6 raised to the power x, then all square, then plus. Also we have same base here. The power can be added. We have 6 raised to the power x plus y in the power there. Then still the same thing as 42 times 6 raised to the power x. And from here, we have from the equation given that x plus y is equal to 3. So x plus y is equal to 3. So from equation 2 now, replace x plus y as 3 in this equation. So we have 6 raised to the power x, or raised to the power 2 plus 6 raised to the power 3 now, that is x plus y equals to 42 times 6 raised to the power x. Then from here, 6 raised to the power 3 is the same thing as 216. So we have 6 raised to the power x all squared plus 216. Still the same thing as 42 times 6 raised to the power x. Now let's bring everything to this side so as to form an equation. And we have 6 raised to the power x all squared. Then when plus, let's carry everything here. When it comes here, become minus. That's minus 42. Then 6 raised to the power x. Then plus 216. It will be equal to 0 left. Now, we have something common here. 6 raised to the power x. 6 raised to the power x. So let's use a letter. So let the letter u now be equal to 6 raised to the power x. So this equation will become u squared minus 42u plus 216 will be equal to 0. And from here, we can solve this quadratic equation by factorizing. When we factorize, this minus 42u can be written as minus 6u, then minus 36u. And also when we multiply it, we are going to have plus 216u squared. So we have u square now, then plus 216, which is equal to 0. So group it, you know, in twos now. We have, you can come here from these two. So from these two, when we bring u out, we have u out, we have u left, then minus 6. Then we have minus 36 into u minus 6, which is equal to 0. So we have u minus 6. Multiply by u minus 36, we then give us 0. Now, we have two solutions here now. 
we have u minus 6 equals to 0 or we have u minus 36 equals to 0. And from here, when we solve this side, we can take minus is there, become plus. So u will now be equals to 6. And the value of u we represent u as 6 raised to the power x. So we say 6 raised to the power x equals to 6. And we can say this 6 raised to the power 1. That means our x is equals to 1. So x equals to 1 from here. And we can find the corresponding value of y from equation 2, which is x plus y equals to 3. So x, which is 1 now, should be plus y, which is equal to 3. And from there, we can take 1 here, and we have 1 equals to 3 minus 1, which is y equals to 2. So we have, when x equals to 1, then our y will be equal to 2. Then from this other side, we have u to be equal to 36. So when we find the value of u, u will now be equal to u minus 36 equals to 0. So u will be equal to 36. And our u is still the same thing as 6 raised to the power x. Then equals to 36 can be written as 6 squared. That is 6 raised to the power 2. Then when we equate the power now, since we have the same base, we have x equals to 2. So when x equals to 2, we can also find the corresponding value of y. By putting x equals to 2 here, we have 2 plus y now will be equals to 3. So taking 2 there, so our y will then give us 3 minus 2. So y will be equals to what? 1. So when x equals to 2, y equals to 1. Then we can write the solution and say therefore, we have for x 1 comma y 1 it will give us 1 comma 2 this is the first set of solution and we have the second set of solution we have x 2 comma y 2 we give us our x 2 is 2 and our y 2 is 1 so this is the end of the class and we can check putting the value of x and y into the equation given to confirm whether it's satisfied. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.